Diablo 4 is finally out, and it is playing awesome on the Steam Deck. I got this up and running in about 5 minutes. It's not that hard at all, so I'm going to show you the fastest and easiest way to get Diablo 4 running on your Steam Deck right now. There are actually many ways to do this, but I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest in my opinion. So just know if your friend said they did it another way, that's okay too. I personally like to use this software it can basically auto-download all of the non-Steam launchers you desire. Epic Games, Uplay, Origin, it can install all of them for you in the click of a button. So on your Steam Deck, transition to desktop mode. You can do this by hitting the Steam button, go down to power, and hit switch to desktop. Once you're in desktop mode, use the browser to navigate to this link I have put in the description. It is the GitHub for the Easy Launcher software. If you don't have a mouse and keyboard connected to your Steam Deck, you can press the Steam button plus X to bring up the on-screen keyboard, but I do really recommend just using a physical mouse and keyboard. Once you're on this page, you can simply scroll down and hit the giant download button. It should download pretty instantly. Open the folder on your desktop and launch the software. Hit continue on the warning that pops up. Upon launching, it will ask you which launchers you want to install on your Steam Deck. If you plan on using other launchers in the future, I really do recommend just installing them now. So for me, I'm going to do Battle.net, Epic Games, and Origin. But feel free to pick whichever you want. If you only want to play Diablo 4 right now, then just hit Battle.net and hit OK. The launcher will start to download and install everything you need. It should be pretty quick. But hey, while we wait for it, maybe you can take a second to like the video and subscribe to my channel. That'd be pretty sick. Thanks. Once it's done, let's go ahead and restart our Steam Deck by going to the bottom left and hit Restart. By default, the Steam Deck is going to restart into gaming mode. So if we go over to our games library and navigate to non-Steam, we should see our Battle.net launcher here. We have to do one quick thing here, but if you skip this step, your launcher probably won't work. So select Battle.net and hit the Options button. Then navigate down to Properties. Then in the top left, do Compatibility. We're going to check force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility, and this will bring up a new drop-down menu that we are going to change to Proton Experimental. Once we confirm that is selected, we can just back out of this menu and go back to desktop mode. Back in desktop mode, we need to launch Battle.net via Steam, so just go ahead and launch it either from the quick menu or just opening Steam and selecting Battle.net. Log in using your credentials and don't forget your damn password five times like I did. Once logged in, we are done with desktop mode for now, and can return back to gaming mode by clicking the button on the desktop. Back in gaming mode, we can launch Battle.net and you should already be logged in. After launching, let's hit the Steam button to open up options so we can change our controller settings. Click controller settings at the bottom, and then we need to edit the current layout. Click the arrow here to open the drop-down menu, and then choose Gamepad with Mouse Trackpad. This will make the controller work in Diablo 4, but will also allow us to navigate menus using the trackpad. Once you choose it, hit X to apply layout, and we can back out back to Battle.net. We need to install Diablo 4. If you're having issues seeing the install button, you might need to double click the top of the window to full size it and it should reveal the install button in the bottom left. Hit install, then continue. And it's up to you if you want to install the high resolution assets. It basically doubles the amount of space needed on your deck and will lower your frame rate significantly, but it does look a lot nicer. In my opinion, I decided not to install it so I can get higher FPS. It's a 7 inch 800p screen after all. So going forward, the visuals you will see are not using the high resolution assets, but you can choose either way. Start the install and basically just let the game finish, and then you can simply launch it once it's done. Once you're in the game, everything should just work pretty easily. You can play with mouse and keyboard or the controller if you'd like, it's all mapped already. Both will work perfectly. Let's go into the settings. The default settings are pretty good for a consistent 60 FPS, but I personally like to increase the font scale to large because of the small screen, and medium or large for the cursor scale. You can also sharpen image to about 50 or 60, which will help the graphics a lot. I like to turn vertical sync off as well. Everything else is pretty good out of the box. Keeping the quality preset on low will help your frame rate stay pretty stable at around 60 FPS, if you're okay with like 40 to 45 FPS, feel free to change this to medium and it will still look and play pretty well. I went around and tried to kill a bunch of dudes and the FPS while on low was pretty stable. No noticeable spikes or huge frame drops. Using the mouse and keyboard feels perfect and even just using the controller is awesome. I actually kind of prefer the controller style. Hopefully this guide helped you get started in Diablo 4 on your Steam Deck. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave a comment. 
If this video brought value to you, please like the video and consider subscribing for more Steam Deck and technology content. My name is Jason. Thanks for watching.